Hi, I'm Garth McKenzie from traderscorner.co.za, and this is your weekly look at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ indices. So as always, we start with a look at the S&P 500 daily chart. And what you can see quite clearly evident on this chart is that beautiful triangle structure that broke to the upside in the middle of November. It's labeled quite clearly there, it labels one, two, three, and four. And then typically you'll see a triangle pattern will break to the upside on the fifth wave. And that's exactly what happened here. Now in the more recent past, during the latter part of November, there's actually another smaller triangle or we call that a pennant pattern. And that pattern also broke to the upside recently. So all of this is bullish. You can see the market is trading above all of its moving averages and that larger triangle pattern points to a target projection of around about 3,900 potentially on the S&P 500. So whilst that is the case, whilst the market's above its moving averages, that upside stock target is still very much in play. If we then take a look at the hourly chart of the S&P 500, here you can see the recent trading activity in a bit more detail. There is the triangle, that smaller triangle that I'd alluded to on the daily chart. You can actually see that now blown up on this hourly chart. And again, you can see quite clearly the four waves within that triangle structure, and then the fifth wave that marks the breakout. The significant levels that we've got to monitor for the immediate future are 36.75, which is support at the lower levels. And then at the upper levels, 3,700 is uh, a bit of resistance. If the market were able to break up above 3,700, then that would project up to about 37.30, which would be the target projection from that smaller triangle pattern uh, on the hourly chart. But also do keep in mind the bigger, higher target that I mentioned on the daily chart as well. Then let's take our attention to the NASDAQ and we'll have a look at the daily chart of the NASDAQ first. And here, much like what I've shown you on the S&P 500, you can see there's a lovely triangle structure that's broken to the upside recently. Again, quite clearly labeled there with one, two, three, and four waves in that pattern. And the fifth wave always marks the breakout in a, in a textbook triangle structure. Now that triangle on the daily chart there projects to an upside target of 13,700. So still quite some potential upside for the NASDAQ here. And again, whilst this market is above all its moving averages and above all of the resistance previously, this is a bullish looking chart set up and one's got to continue to give the benefit of the doubt to the upside here. Finally, we'll take a look at the hourly chart of the NASDAQ, and it's quite simple analysis that I'm presenting here, just showing you the important levels that we've got to monitor in the immediate future. 12,500 is the support area that we're monitoring for now. 12,600 is resistance at the upper end. If the market can break out above 12,600, then that obviously continues that rising trend. And I like to keep an eye on that 15 period exponential moving average, which is on the hourly chart there. That's certainly a good guide for uh, strong momentum in the short term. And whilst your 15 period exponential moving average is above that 50 period moving average on the hourly chart, that paints a pretty bullish picture. And whilst that is the case, we've got to continue to give the benefit of the doubt to the upside here on the NASDAQ as well. So all in all, looking good as we approach the end of the year, seasonally, the run up to Christmas and into the new year is actually quite a bullish time of the year. And these charts certainly seem to reflect that bullish status as things are at the moment. That's all I've got for you this time. I'll be back again with you in the new year with more analysis on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ.